Well, hello everybody. This is Ryan Tuberty here. You can call me pretty much anything. Family call me Ryan. School friends call me Tubbs. Whatever it takes. And these are my firsts on Virgin Radio. Stand by. Yeah. The first record. Of, <laughs> uh, God forgive me. I I bought a single, a 45. Look that up, kids. And it was by the Thompson Twins, and it was called "You Bring Me, You Take Me Up." Uh, that was it. Um, and it wasn't. Actually, do you know what? It was that's not too bad. I mean, there are there are a lot worse. So you can have a listen to that. They were a great band. It was the 1980s, and I was very very young. First concert I went to was Simple Minds in Dublin City. Uh, Tracy Chapman was was there, and the Hot House Flowers Irish band were there, and I liked it tremendously. But I realised soon and quickly that I'd rather be at a nice little venue with Tony Bennett. Uh, rather than a big arena with Simple Minds, even though they were tremendous. Of course they were. Oh, the first memory of listening to radio was in my kitchen, uh, because uh, in my house there were radios everywhere. There was a radio in the bathroom, in the kitchen, in the garden, in the living room, in the car, everywhere. So a very famous uh, Irish broadcaster by the name of Gay Byrne would be on every morning, and we'd hear the SIG tune to that and go, <gasps> why am I at school? But that was it. It was always on. It was a soundtrack to my life. The first TV show I remember watching was The Flumps. So you had... I do quite a good trumpet, I have to say. Um, and uh, this, this is part of the reason I'm starting in Virgin, because they heard I served good trumpet. Uh, I will say The Flumps was there, but I loved Mr. Ben. I loved Mr. Men. I loved Rainbow. I loved Bod. I loved Jack and Ori. I loved Bagpuss. Um, I could tell you, I could actually trumpet all the sick tunes to all those shows. But I'm not going to do that yet, you lucky things. First poster I put up on my wall was probably Frankie Goes to Hollywood. God forgive me. It was. <laughs> I just liked two tribes and relax. I was a kid now, I have to say, I had no idea what they were singing about. I do now. First car I ever had <laughs> was, I can't, I don't want to curse here. Can you bleep me out? Yeah, it was nicknamed the because it kept breaking down. It was a Vauxhall something something. And uh, I got to learn um, where to stop on a motorway and what button to press to call to get the car brought back to where it belonged, namely hell. My, fir <laughs> My first gift from Bono. Okay, well, you know what? This could take some time because he's very generous. I got a book of um, poetry from Seamus Heaney. I got a very nice bottle of wine one day after a night out and but the, my favorite one is the Bono and the boys um, the last time I presented a TV show in Ireland called the Late Late Show they gifted me a an electric Vespa I'm a Vespa guy I own one they are like hair dryers with notions but they're my hair dryers with notions and this one it's red it's shiny it's beautiful and I'm so grateful and I love it and I might try and get it over here to London so I can stand out in the crowd. No, I love it, I love it. I can only listen to the jam when I'm, when I'm thinking about it. The first Christmas present I remember getting is probably the Guinness Book of Records. I got it every year. I look forward to it tremendously. You're probably getting a sense uh, of me here. I am an unadulterated, uh, proud, died in the wall nerd. So if you are one of those people, welcome. You, because I, you're my tribe. Uh, so yeah, Guinness Book of Records, loved. First time I met Chris Evans was when I was presenting the Late Late Show. Uh, Chris arrived in, and if you can remember, say, Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz, that time when the tornado is coming in Kansas and she's getting all nervous and battening down the hatches and all that, that's what it was like. A human tornado with glasses arrived in. He was so keen to learn about the TV show, the radio show that I was doing at the time, and he was so interested. And then he gifted me this ticket from a Beatles concert that wasn't played that he, he bought at an auction, and he gave it to me on air, and I was so moved. And I, I, he's, he's a mentor, he's a pal, uh, he's, he's a legend, um, and um, yes, we, we, uh, he is considered very, very 
um, well in the Tuberty household, let me put it this way, and I know in lots of your households too, love him.